Hey, it's nuts and bolts. And let's talk about some fire rate. So, as you just saw, my fire rate version of my Bobcat just outperformed my triple crit damage. And logically, that doesn't make any sense. A lot of people will say, but if triple crit damage is more crit, it's going to be a lot more damage. But there is a point in Fortnite where you end up with diminishing returns. And we all know diminishing returns occurs on the crit hit chance, where something like Total Rocking Out can give you 160 crit rating, but you only end up at about 67 to 70% crit hit chance. The problem is that that same logic applies to damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, fire rate, magazine, reload time, and it occurs to a lot of these factors. So I can show that quite easily with damage. If you have a look at my Mercury LMG, my Sunbeam 15,000, we'll say, has a damage perk of 30%, has a damage perk up here at 20%. So the natural base damage of that is 10,000. And you can see that if we head over to my next one, it's 12,000 there. 20% on top of 10,000 is about 12,000. So the more damage that you can add on to your loadout, if you add on something like Warcry, which is 45%, you add on Banshee, which is another 25%, you add on Ear Splitter, which is 40%, you keep adding on all these damage perks 40%, 30%, 25%, more 30%, you keep adding on all those, and you end up at a point where you could have something like 100,000 damage, you add on another 10%, but all it's going to add on is another 1,000 damage here. So it'd be 100,000 damage plus 1,000 damage. So the thing with crit damage is crit damage also has that diminishing return aspect. If we have a look at, got a little chart here. If we have a look at one crit damage, you're going to get 185%. You have a look at two, it's going to increase by 1.73 times to get to 320. It's 135% added on to that, but the growth percentage is 73% of the 85 same thing occurs with your triple crit damage. When you go from 320 up to 455, you're looking at 1.42, which sounds like a very familiar number. Adding on, say, 50% damage for a base loadout, you're looking at Sledge. In lead, you're going to have 275 to start off with. Add on one crit damage, you're going to go up 49%. You're going to go up 32, you're going to go up 25. The more crit damages that you add on, the less of a return that you are going to get on those perks. So you can keep adding more and more crit damage, or you can stop at a point and have a look at something like fire rate. So how does fire rate actually make a difference? Well that's quite easy if you think about it that you're shooting say 10 rounds a second well 10 rounds times 1.42 is 14.2 rounds which means that you're getting four more shots in if you're critting let's say for one shot so you've got a 10 percent new crit for one shot out of those 10 rounds well, you've got another four rounds now that you can potentially crit on. If you increase your crit chance to 70%, so you're firing 10 rounds, your crit chance is 0. 0.70%, 70 of your shots are going to crit. But if you've got 14.2 shots and 70% of those shots crit, 
that's nearly 10 shots which means that when you had your original 10 rounds that were shooting they're now all critting and your overflow is going to be the shots that don't crit and that's all still within one second so you're getting more out of your perks with a fire rate perk but this is where you can be a little bit smart about it so uh, the fire rate is 15 and you have 50 shots in the magazine now Taylor rocking out lasts about eight seconds before it diminishes off the six second mark is when you're going to get to around 50 percent critical hit chance after that six second it just drops off completely you get nearly no growth no nothing no it just plummets so when we have a look at the fire rate what we can do is we can do 50 divided by 15.34 and that'll give you a rough time frame of around about three and a half seconds so that means that for some weapons you might want to increase that up to six seconds to improve your chance of critting which is why on something like my siege breaker I went from a 30 mag up to a 52 mag because if that was a damage perk up there I'd only have 30 shots I'd empty that magazine out in two seconds but I've still got four more seconds left on total rocking out before I do go below 50% add in two and a half seconds for reload and you've lost pretty much your entire Taylor rocking out bonus just because you haven't accounted for the fire rate and the magazine size and the combination of the two which is also the same reason why I run ammo assault recovery so ammo assault recovery essentially increases the mag by about 30% that 52 magazine now becomes around about 67 which at 15 shots a second means that's going to take four maybe even four and a half seconds to empty out that whole magazine combining that with the rising crit rating rising crit rating adds about 27 crit rating which means that when you get to the three second mark it's dropped down from 160 crit rating plus the 27 down to about 157 so pretty much the exact same 160 at the three second mark so I'm still getting a 67% chance to crit which means that I'm still getting that bonus on my weapons I'm still making bank on the fire rate I'm still getting my damage. The only thing that's dropped off is the damage itself. Now this does raise a question of when you would ditch the fire rate and go for double crit damage and the answer to that is more or less that when the fire rate gets below 8 then you should be looking at double crit damage. So the super shredder for example 0 0.9 double crit damage that's going to do a lot more per shot getting more crits on it than what it would be if you had a 42% fire rate. Hopefully that explains a lot more as to why I run fire rate over double crit damage and triple crit damage. I have been asked quite a fair bit by people through Discord, Reddit, just all over the place as to why I run fire rate and I thought I'd give a bit of a detailed explanation that at least gets people thinking about the perks in a different way. I'm still going to do a few more comparison videos just to throw up so that there's a bit of a reference and you can see how a particular weapon is going to work. But until next time, see ya!